And there we have the hard-hitting and powerful Estonian Sergei Strinza. Who at first decision Ivan Kasongo of Finland, and then after that got past the very game Friedrich Heifert of Norway. So I suspect that Gil is gonna want to take this to the ground. And I like what Strunzo is doing here, immediately attacking the legs of his opponent, which will take a little bit of the oomph out of Gil's potential takedowns. kick to the midsection back for Strinza. There's a takedown attempt. I think we knew it was coming, but nice defense there from, from Strinza. Need of a midsection there for Strinza. But good job here by Wales' Gill. Oh. Gill really driving to get the take done here. Strinza's underhook really was preventing the takedown there. And look, instead it's the Estonian that gets the takedown. Not a whole lot going on right now as Strinza remains in the guard of Alex Gill. Very tight guard for Alex Gill. Very aware of the power his opponent possesses. Look at that. Takedown attempt successful for Strinza. And on the one hand, you might want to think that Strinza would like to keep it standing, but all the same, the longer he stands, the more the longer he has to basically wait for an oncoming takedown to defend. So there's no way he's getting taken down <laughs> when he's on top of the ground already. Okay, interesting. Strinza lets his opponent back up. Oh, nice combination there from Strinza. Perfect timing too. Awaited his opponent's strike and then just ducked under, got the takedown. He's in a better position now and Half guard, see if he can advance to side control. As Gil retains the guard here, but let's see what Strinza opts to do. And once again, he lets his opponent back up. 
Interesting, not too content to stay on the ground for extended periods of time. It's almost like he uses the takedowns basically just to nullify his opponent's offense on the feet. And again, Strinza gets a takedown. Now he has that. That side control. Good job by Gil retaining the guard. But one wonders now, will Strinza remain on the ground particularly long or will he do like he's done before? And yeah, there we have it. Let's his opponent back up. And it seems like Strinza has basically found a recipe for success because sure, he's not landing a whole lot of offense on the ground, but all the same, Gil is landing none off of his back. Nice heavy kick there for Strinza. Oh, jumping roundhouse kick as well. Oh! Okay, at first it looked like Gil was dropped off of the body shot, but it seems that that shot actually went low, right to the family jewels. Intense striking exchange here. Another heavy body, wow. That leg kick just sent Gil crashing to the canvas and gets powered down by Strinza. Strinza with borderline bear-like strength here. So it could be all or nothing now for Gil. He, yeah, see there, he was trying for a, perhaps a knee bar off of the bottom, but Strinza just doesn't stay on the ground long enough for Gil to be able to land any, any submission attempts from there. Okay, this is much better for Gil. He's going on the neck. Wow, but again, Strinza just powers the Welshman down to the ground. Gil has a butterfly hook here that he might use, but looks like students are recognized with danger. Strinza once again abandons top position on the ground. And honestly, it's it's smart for him just to kind of kill time here. Eat up his opponent's legs, avoid any potential submission threat. I don't think he's all too concerned about Gil striking.
Oh, what happened there? It looked like an up kick. At the very last second? There you have it, the Estonian powerhouse, Sergei Strinza, gets it done once again. Just too strong, too powerful.